In today's episode, I'm showing you how you can still have fun even while you're dealing with injuries. Um, a lot of times you want to still skate. You want to know what can I still do on my skateboard when I'm hurt. I'm going to show you some things you can work on even while Ooh. dealing with serious injuries so you can still have fun and not get down. Now I cut this video a little raw so y'all can see my real emotions on here. My energy was very low in the beginning of this video. Just try to get, I guess, just I don't have anything else to work on. I can, uh, or anything else I can even do. I can just learn and practice on push and switch. Try to get it at a decent speed, I guess. Hopefully I'll fall on the board. And I don't think I just have low energy if you first watching me for the first time, but I got a serious injury and I'm just leaving this up to show y'all how I really, this is my right first now. time skating again in two weeks after um, tearing my meniscus. Now, if you've been dealing with injuries, one thing you can uh, practice on, uh, and you see me limping, I mean, it's, it's hurting y'all, but one thing you can practice on is pushing switch. Um, there's nothing cooler than somebody that can push in any stance and just doing tricks doesn't have to um, start pushing uh, Mongo at any point. I mean, it just makes it look smooth, man. Now you want to get comfortable. You want to start cruising. Start trying to do some Tic Tacs. Throw in a manual or two. I mean, you want to start making it almost like your regular stance in your mind. Because a lot of people are just telling you you can just skate switch and that's not true. You got to start here. You got to start pushing switch first. That stuff, that's the key to unlock the door. You can't get in the door without the key, bro. And thank God my daughter was there. Her energy made me feel so much better. That's another tip. If you're injured and you're trying to feel better and you do have kids, bring them out. Um, hang out with children and people or people that have very great energy because it's contagious. Like I was super down, but when I saw her wow, commitment yeah. to her little roller skate that she just got, it kind of made me think this girl's a baby savage. I need to get up and I need to just start rolling, man. You know, cause this thing can mentally get you down. A lot of skateboarders, we don't realize that we're using skateboarding as a tool to vent a lot of our emotions. And then when oh. that, that ability to vent the emotions is shut down, you're stuck with all these emotions and you're not understanding what are all these things you're feeling when you get hurt and injured and cannot skate. Why are all these emotions rising up? Why are all these feelings that you don't even remember feeling rising up on you so quickly? I believe there's a level of concentration needed in skateboarding that's almost close to meditation, like a meditative state or a trance state or a state when you're, all your fears are gone, all of your all of your thoughts and pains are gone. You're not thinking about the your past issues or your past problems or your like there's a state that you could get into, man. And I'm gonna dive way deeper into this because a lot of people, I don't think anybody have touched the surface on this. That it's almost like a form of therapy in a sense. Y'all see me going savage mode in my videos. It's like all the things that I've been through that try to beat me. I look at the obstacle as that and I defeat it. Uh, all right, so one of the hacks with uh, skating switch is just learning how to push switch. And I mean, it seems pretty basic, but somehow it turns on something in your mind that makes you be able to skate switch. I don't know what it is, but it's just something about it. So since I am injured and I've hurt my meniscus, as you see, I got my double knee brace popping off. Uh, y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> oh man, this ain't got me down, but I guess I'm just gonna push around switch. Just seeing if I can get full speed pushing around switch and just push around the whole thing like as if I was just regularly pushing around. If I, Cause I wanna get it where people won't, can't tell if I'm regular or goofy. I think that's pretty sick when you like, when you ever watch somebody skate and you're like, are they regular or goofy? Because they're doing so many different things in so many different stances, so comfortable. You don't really know what's what. Uh, and that's what I'm trying to get hitting on. I mean, and plus man, that's just a good way to just have a better vibe when you skate. like. You just look sweeter when you like, when you can push switch and regular and like the same, bruh. I think people wait until they like skating like 10 years to start doing that, 20 years or whatever. Like, I, just start right now. I'll Here's your early. sign to Sorry. start learning how to push switch. Seven months in, push. I already got it. I really, I really, like, for real, I don't even want to push switch. I want to throw down switch, like, run and jump on my board, switch and just. 
but I can't do it because of this D. I can't even, I can't run. So I guess I'll be stuck trying to do this then. So let's get a, um, just a good cruise around. This place is kind of crunchy, boy. <laughs> the other thing is if I do one wrong movement with this knee, I'm going to the hospital. Like, I didn't mention that. I probably don't need to be out here. They actually directly told me not to skateboard. Okay. I'm not really skateboarding in my opinion. I'm cruising on a skateboard. What? So there's that. I don't consider cruising skateboarding. Me going to extreme levels trying to justify why I'm skating injured. Same thing. <laughs> two different, two different sports. It's like people that take baths saying they're freaking uh, divers or something like that. Like, <laughs> it's it's kind of close. It's two different things, man. Way different things. Same concept. Your calves are looking jacked. I know that. The calves are crazy. Look at that. My wife boosted me up, so now <laughs> I had to hit you with the Mr. Universe Stallion calf strut. See, I'm already feeling a little better. My daughter boosted me up. My wife got me feeling like my calves is jacked. <laughs> Yo, I love her, man. Straight up, man. She know how to bring my mood up, man. Got me struck by calves on a video. I'm a grown man. <laughs> I gotta jump off the weird set. I'm like, yeah, that's right. See, yeah, that's crazy, like, isn't it? The crazy. major part, when I push regular, it's like my foot straight like this. I kick, I kick, and then I turn. So if I just do the same thing, switch. That's how I think of it. I do it regularly, then I try to force myself to do the same thing the other way. Put my foot in the middle. So to learn to push switch, you want to first push regular and see what you're doing. Try to replicate that the other way. It's going to feel uncomfortable. You're going to feel crazy. It's going to take a minute. Hey, but I'm telling you, baby. when it switches over, let's you're going to be like, oh, my God. It, out of nowhere, you're just going to be doing it, bro. And when you do, remember Steve Savage. Now, once you start getting it, you want to pick up speed. You want to be at a haul it around the park, full speed switch, going ham. Like, not just tip tapping around. When you riding around the park, you about to roll up on a fakey trick. Nothing more sick than if you start pushing full speed switch and then drop like a fakey something crazy. Bro, and people don't even know what stance you are. Bro, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, bro, your star rating going up at the skate park or wherever you at, bro. I'm telling you, man. It just brings it up. It brings you a more pro vibe. More, um, it's more sophisticated, bro. Get your grown man on, man. Start pushing switch. This right here is level one in the Savage Skate School, bro. You got to learn how to push switch, bro. Pushing both stances. As soon as you start skating, not 10 years later, start off being a do both. And it is uncomfortable, but you're a savage, bro. You can do this. Now, notice I'm turning. You want to be at a turn switch. I mean, turning. Riding, tic tacking, even manuals. I haven't learned to switch manuals, but uh, definitely about to learn them. Just playing with it. You want to just at least play with it. Start getting yourself super comfortable riding switch. I love a tennis court because of the lines you can mark your progress. The fact that I was like so comfortable. But that's it. Like once you start being able to cruise full speed. Which I just did, that was cool. I was like kind of going, but the scary part is if I have to really jump off this thing, boy, this knee can't do all that right now. I'm trying to just get the blood flowing and get this knee knowing that, hey, you about to get back working, bro. We ain't about to be playing. We need to get you back. So I'm just trying to get him back going. Doing something, you know? Now, this is kind of like tired me out more than anything though. Using that other foot is really wears you out. Using your switch foot is going to be 10 times more tiring because you don't have the muscle memory. Playing little game switch or having mile markers. Um, you know, even that's why I love the tennis court because all these markers, man. You can figure out how long you're going to do this at what speed. A lot of people don't know that I've never learned manuals, but now that I have all this time on my hands, I'm going to try to just learn it today. Um, that's another trick y'all can learn if you're injured. Just do some manuals, man. It's super fun, especially at the tennis court, bro, because you got all these lines. I mean, it does something else when you actually have that marker right there in front of you that help you reach it. I'm telling you, it's like gets you 10 times better, 10 times faster. I don't know why, but I'm telling you. 
uh, tennis court hack, bro. That should be the thumbnail because that's how good it is, bro. I'm telling you. Watch. Like, I literally learned manuals right here in that one day. When I kick regular, I take all the way up my front foot for a quick second. Dog down, then put it back on. I don't think I was doing that when I was doing it. So that's another good tip, man. When you're pushing switch, you want to push very close to the board, not all loose and out because you're going to start wobbling, losing balance. Keep that front foot uh, straight forward until you get your back foot on. Then you turn it, turn the front foot and you start riding normally. I mean, do it switch and you'll see how you do it regular and then turn it around, do it switch. All right, now we got the switch push. We got the switch speed. Now we're gonna start trying to do some manuals. I'll get it when Why? Up, okay. Ooh. Um, to get you more comfortable with how it's gonna feel when you snap, when you're doing yeah. switch ollies, when you don't land tricks and you land out of it wrong. You might drop into a switch man. I don't want you to, as soon as you drop into a switch manual, you slam uncomfortably. You should be able to have that kind of switch balance to even when you get out. That's the worst thing about learning switch. Because if you don't land a trick and you don't know how to, don't have balance uh, with that other foot, your slams are reckless and unbalanced and you get hurt. So that's why I'm telling you, you start doing the manual. Start at least learning how to balance on that that back uh, truck just in case you, you land weird or you want to learn 5-0s or anything. You just learning how to balance switch and get that muscle memory and control. Uh, it uses so many muscles in your feet. Uh, my left foot is so tired. Like, you see people riding around and stuff and you think it's a lot of little mini muscle movements that make you stay stable. Like, my foot's worn out in so many places because you're just like doing all these little mini movements. So, I definitely got a little action in switch. I almost wanted to start trying to do stuff fakey because I thought this is the leg that's popping anyway and this leg just needs to be at a bend, but then it has to be at a, have a weight to be able to push down when I can. Now here's the other part. When you're doing this and you're injured, don't get tempted to do real tricks because it almost happened to me, y'all. That's why I left this edit so raw. Skate with your crutches. That's stupid. <laughs> but um, skating by faith, you know? What'd I you say? Skating by faith. I think faith without works is dead. Like, oh, I can say, oh, God, I have faith that you could heal me. And then I just sit home, you know? Like, I'm like, oh, I have faith that you can heal me so I get back skating. Well, I'm going to come out here and just start skating. Now, if he healed me or not, I don't care. It's like, it is just whatever happens is going to happen. So it's in his court, you know? Your knee just needs to submit to the power of God. <laughs> Listen. I'm not, I'm going to skate, so whatever happens, happens, you know, hopefully. And we are in his court. <laughs> Into his court for Thanksgiving. <laughs> and oh, like my right? left foot is so worn out, y'all. It's like getting a cramp. I'm trying to just let it chill for a minute. He stopped, bro. Behind that white All right, thing. about time to learn manuals, family. Now, if y'all know how to do manuals, hey, man, let's learn together, fam. Shoot, I don't know either. Now, watch the end of this, because at the end, I end up learning it, and that same day, doing one all the way across that whole ah. part right there, the tennis court is sick. Um, I don't know, man. It excites me up. I like our progression didn't even hurt, y'all. So it's just a blessing, though. I love skating, yo. Now, I'm about to share a crazy secret with y'all. A big key to oh. manuals is your stomach being in shape. Didn't know that. Core strength. When I start losing the weight and I started doing sit-ups, um, All right, it's like you crunch forward with your stomach and then balance with your hand oh. and keep your back leg extremely slight. Once you lock into it and you get Yay. it, try to not move that back leg. Crunch color. that stomach down using your stomach muscles and then your oh, no. hands almost that are out to balance you and keep that back leg still. And it'll happen, bro. Oh, no. I'm telling y'all, man. Look at this. Look. Back leg really not moving a lot. Crunching the stomach. Arms kind of moving. Then right here, I really got the balance. Look, I'm not moving a lot. I'm not moving a lot. I'm not moving barely at all. Look at that. Ooh. Then slap down. Like once you lock it in, do not 
move. That was I'm twice the line. Like I've heard people say it. I don't know what happened, but it was magical, though. It felt Good so job, magical. Man. Like, yo. See, you said you were gonna learn a trick. You learned a trick even while you were injured. Injured trick. Right. Be sick if I could do a switch. Be dangerous though. That'd be sketchy. If I did it switch, it would have to be. I'm wilding out again, y'all. First yo. of all, I don't even know how to do switch manuals. Let's start with that. So maybe if I get just this little piece switch, and then if maybe by some miracle, this whole thing right like middle part here. But that's rough. Really, because it's now a lot of this stuff depends on how what injury you have. Of course, if you broke your leg or something, we can't do this. But a, a lot of things that are going on, you can still do these uh, do these tricks. I mean, the manual may be dangerous for some people, depending on your balance. I don't want you falling and hurting your arms or nothing. Just tip tapping, trying to get a little switch manual. I got one locked in for like two seconds earlier. I didn't film, but it's OT dubs. Okay. Feel good? Mm -hmm. Had a good time. All right. Let them get their court and stuff. I want you to pay attention to how right. different my demeanor is now from when I started this video. Say, Skating is literally therapy. Y'all look at what the difference in my face. Smiling. He kind of just letting us know the hours when we can come back and I can uh, practice with my daughter and we can just be, you know, well, we won't be in the people's way. Being a savage and skating is cool, but being a savage husband and a father, boy, you can't beat that. Say bro. it, Rita. Say it better. Yeah. Savage life. Savage life. Let's go. Let's go. Subscription today. I hope you enjoyed that video, man. Um, if you've been dealing with injuries and you, you want to skate, um don't rush back into it but there are some things that you can do um so just get better at switch push and switch get better at manuals get better at some of the basics man strengthen up some of the some of the just basic things that you've been you know you kind of spared past in the beginning um and i'm telling you when you get back to skating it's going to be 10 times easier your balance is going to be crazy you're going to be doing crazy tricks you're going to be going insane boy we're going to be going up man trust me um Yo, thank y'all for sticking with me during the situation with my leg and uh, my knee, I mean. Um, and just all your positive comments, man. It really have gone a long way. Um, y'all check out the new videos, the old videos. Run that playlist up. We almost monetized family, the whole family going up, man. Straight up. We got some new things coming up in the future. Games of skates, barrack style action at the skate park. Skate contest. I don't know. Y'all gonna see this summer, man. We going crazy, man. But y'all run the videos up on the playlist, man. Thank you for all your support. Savage Life.